Hello students I hope you have watched my first video if not please do watch it today's video is a continuation of the first video here we shall discuss about the generations of computers with the advance in technology computers can be further classified according to the technology used this type of classification is called as generations of computers now let's discuss about the first generation computers the first generation computers used vacuum tubes these computers were very large in size it was very difficult to write programs on them some of the computers of this generation were as follows mark 1 Howard Aiken developed the first electronic computer. It was called Mark 1. It was about 15 meters long, used bundles of wires. The main advantage of Mark 1 was that it was fully automatic. This machine was capable of performing 3 calculations a second. It was also more reliable than the early electronic computers. ENIAC ENIAC that is electronic numerical integrator and computer was the first fully electronic digital computer it was developed by J Prosper Eckert and John Mockley it contained approximately 17500 vacuum tubes it occupied 680 square feet area and weighed more than 27000 kg ENIAC was initially not a stored program machine it had to be reprogrammed by the manual rewriting for each task edvac edvac that is electronic discrete variable automatic computer next to the ENIAC was also a similar kind of machine it was also developed by J Prosper Eckert and John Mockley Edvac was a stored program machine unlike the ENIAC. Univac 1. Univac 1 that is universal automatic computer 1 was also invented by J Prosper Eckert and John Mockley. It was the first commercially available electronic computer. It was able to handle both numeric and textual information. drawbacks of the first generation computers the major limitations of the first generation computers were as follows the operating speed was quite low power consumption was very high these computers had very low programming capability the computers required a large space for installation Now let's discuss about the second generation computers. The main characteristics of the second generation computers were as follows. They used transistor as their main component. Computers of this generation were smaller, faster and more efficient than the first generation computers. They also contained all the component we associate with the modern day computers that is printer, memory, disk storage, operating system, etc. They were less expensive than the first generation computers. Now let's discuss about the third generation computers. The main characteristics of the third generation computers were as follows. They used integrated circuits popularly known as chips. These computers were smaller in size as compared to the second generation computers. Capacities of main memories were greatly enlarged. The computers used an operating system that allowed machines to run many different programs simultaneously. High level programming languages were developed. These languages were Fortran 4, COBOL 68, BASIC and LOGO. Now let's discuss about the fourth generation computers. Fourth generation computers are those that we use today. 
the characteristics of the fourth generation computers are as follows. The computers used large scale integrated circuits and very large scale integrated circuits. These computers have a much greater computing power. They have extremely large memories than the earlier computers. Many new storage devices were developed which had much storage capacity and less cost. Many new high level languages such as C, C++, C Sharp, Java, etc. are used for programming. Computers can be linked together or networked to share memory space, software, information and communicate with each other. Till the fourth generation of computers, the major stress was in improving the hardware. This resulted in smaller size and fast speed of computers. The major drawback of these computers was lack of thinking power. Now let's discuss about the fifth generation computers. The fifth generation computers are based on artificial intelligence. These computers are still under development. Due to artificial intelligence, these computers will be intelligent to do work themselves. They will be intelligent to take decisions independently. Main characteristics of the fifth generation computers will be as follows. Intelligent enough to do work themselves. Self decision making ability able to understand the verbal instructions of humans. Now let's move on to the exercises. Let's begin with tick the correct option. The first question is the fourth generation computers used option A transistor, option B integrated circuits, option C large scale integrated circuits. And the right option is Option C Large Scale Integrated Circuits Second question is UNIVAC was invented by Option A Sir John Napier Option B Blaise Pascal Option C J. Presper Eckert and John Mockley And the right option is Option C J. Prosper Eckert and John Mockley. Third question is Which computers were based on artificial intelligence? Option A. Third generation computers. Option B. Fourth generation computers. Option C. Fifth generation computers. And the right option is Option C fifth generation computers now let's move on to fill in the blanks first question is dash was capable of performing three calculations a second and the right answer is mark one was capable of performing three calculations a second second question is Dash was the first fully electronic digital computer and the right answer is ENIAC was the first fully electronic digital computer. Third question is some of the ideas used in the difference engine were incorporated by Babbage in the design of his Dash engine. And the right answer is, some of the ideas used in the difference engine were incorporated by Babbage in the design of his analytical engine. Fourth question is, the major drawback of the computers of the fourth generation was lack of dash. And the right answer is, the major drawback of the computers of the fourth generation was lack of thinking power. Here are some interesting questions for you all. Do try to answer them. That's all for today and have a nice day. Thank you.